BBC News. All eight people have been rescued from a cable car dangling above a ravine in northern Pakistan. Most were extracted by locals and rescue teams using zip wires despite darkness and high winds. Vladimir Putin has praised the work of the BRICS group of nations, saying it would meet the aspirations of the majority of the global population. He addressed the group summit in South Africa virtually because of the war crimes charges he's facing. The leader of the Spanish People's Party has been asked to form a new government after inconclusive elections. He leads the largest party but is unlikely to get enough votes in Parliament. Wildfires near the Turkish city of Çanakkale have briefly stopped shipping in the Dardanelles Strait. Traffic resumed after two dozen aircraft brought the blaze largely under control. Scientists say the wildfires that ravaged Canada's Quebec province earlier this year were made 50% more intense as a result of climate change. The study also found that burning fossil fuels made fires of such severity at least seven times more likely. Washington is sanctioning Chinese officials deemed responsible for the forced assimilation of Tibetan children. It said Beijing was seeking to destroy Tibet's language, culture and religion. A top Greek archaeologist has said the British Museum in London can no longer say that Greek artefacts are well protected in its care. Her comments came after it emerged that the museum was warned two years ago that items were being stolen from its collection and offered for sale. It only admitted such security breaches last week. Kenya's Faith Kipyegon has become the first woman to win a third women's 1500 metres title at the World Athletics Championships. BBC News.